How's it going guys? Uh, John Hankey here with Hankey Motorsports. Uh, we're at the race shop here at Center Point Marine and Stevens Point working on sleds. Uh, but today's a kind of exciting day for us. It comes along every year. Uh, the new Castle X gear is in. Uh, it's the 2024 gear. And I know a lot of you see this gear at the track, see it on social media, but I thought I would do a little unboxing and kind of show you guys what I'm excited about, as well as some of the features that come with these uh, coats, the pants, the boots, all that good stuff. Uh, full disclosure, we have been sponsored by Castle X for the last five years. Um, we've been racing for over 20 years. We've tried a ton of different aftermarket gear. We've tried OEM gear. Uh, personally, I, I love this stuff. I love what they're bringing to the table. I think they've got some really neat things coming out this year, um, and I just want to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, Ooh, we got the box. It's time to get at it. Let's open her up. All righty. First up, we have the phase jacket. Oh. This year again, we went with the uh, high viz color to match the sleds that we have. I uh, really liked how that turned out last year, so we're going with the same thing this year. This is the phase coat. Loving it, nice and bright. What I like about this color is you can see, it, you can be across a half mile track and still find your team. Go ahead and get the zippers. They've got the uh, nice YKK zippers here. Some good Velcro, that should keep you nice and warm. Some good insulation. Uh, the nice part about Castle X, if you go to their website and you go and you look up the winter coats, each one of them is going to have a rating on how cold, or I should say warm, it is. On these ones, it's 200 Gs on the main area and it is 150 on the sleeves. So it's a pretty warm coat. Um, we've ran the code jackets before. Uh, those are probably the warmest they have. Uh, last year we had the flex coats, and those were uh, also pretty warm. Both of those have a removable liner. Um, this year we went with the these phase coats without the liner. But as you can see, it's nice and thick. Should have some good maneuverability in it. Uh, we have a front pocket here. Nice and deep. Good zipper for that as well. Got our side pockets here. Nice and deep. You know what I like is I like this extra venting here. So if you go on the back side here, and it's a little bit warm day, it's one of those rare days at the track where it's actually, you know, above five degrees. We've got extra venting. So that can really let in some nice cold air for you and keep you warm. We have removable hoods. Uh, Pops and I, we like wearing the hoods. Keeps me nice and warm around the neck area. However, we have a couple teammates that the, the first thing they do is ditch the hood. So it's nice to have that option. Um, the hoods do have a nice stretchy tightener there. On the bottom of the coats, we do have a D-ring here. Uh, it's great for a tether, whether it's on your trail sled or in the pits. You know, each one of our guys, we like to have a tether on it. So when we need to start the sleds, we're not running around looking for it. Everybody's got one. Everybody keeps it on their coat. Nice and simple. Gotta love it. We got the Castle X on the sides there, up top. Castle X season. On the back, we got good marking. We've got reflective stripping here. Um, that's great on the trails. If, if you're coming up on nighttime, being able to see everybody. Really all around good material here. Yeah. 
We got some tag beanies. Um, what I like about these beanies is after even three years, they have a nice tight fit to them. Don't have to worry about them going anywhere. Good warm around the ears, nice tight fit. Awesome, awesome uh, hats to have at the track. We got enough for the team here. This is what I've been pumped up for. Castle X came out with uh, race suits in 2020. So they number them by the years. We got the R20, the R21, R22, R23. This year, the R24, they've shaken it up. Uh, they've brought some new colorways to the mix. This year, we are going with the black, red, orange, white mix. They do have some other uh, colorways as well. They're offering them in, they got a black and red, they've got a black and high viz. And then what we went with, this bad boy. They've got the black and high viz, the black and the red. But my personal favorite is this black, red, orange, yellowish smoke color they've brought. Um, what I like about these race suits it is they're not too warm, they're not too cold. Uh, they Again, we've got the venting on the side here for the driver. Sometimes it gets warm throughout the day. You're in the middle of a race, there's a red flag, you need to cool off. Having the option to open those vents is awesome. We've got the YKK zippers again. This is a very flexible material. Um, it's tough. I've been racing these suits for four years and I haven't had an issue with it. We've got zipper pockets, nice deep pockets for the driver, as well as the D-ring again for your tether. We've got one on both sides. Whatever you're comfortable with, you can run that. Uh, a lot of people are concerned about maybe the orange for ISR rules. It's a really easy fix. You can just put your numbers, your name, put it all in orange. We've got to hit something like one square foot of orange. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Here we've got the matching pants. And this is, this is a big reason why I went with the black and the uh, red orange look is I like to have a matching suit. Um, these pants, again, they're designed for racing. It's pretty straightforward. Same kind of that stretchy material. Um, they do have an adjustable belt. Guys like me, you never know necessarily uh, what size to get. You know, I'm about 5'8". I go with the medium size. I wear about a 30, 29 waist. Um, these fit like a glove. I can tighten them up really nice like that. As you can see, we've got again now zipper pockets. We've got more venting in the leg, which is really nice to have again. You just, it's, I can't stress how big of a thing it is when it's really cold outside. Sure, it's cold, but once you're moving, once you're racing, once you've been sitting there, it's nice to have these vents to be able to open it. Uh, with ice oval racing, you know, we're dragging our legs on the ground around the corners. Uh, all the aftermarket stuff, all the OEM stuff we've ever ran, a lot of guys know you just, you tear up the, the knee. It, it shreds right through, not with these. These have an extra tough coating right here in the knee area on both sides. So when this bad boy's dragging down the ice at 100 miles an hour, it holds up. I've got years of suits to prove it. You don't have to be putting leather on these things. This, this tough material, it really does hold up. And go to the back here, we've got a nice stretchy material. Slick design. This is all, again, that tougher material. So. We don't have to worry about this uh, getting beat up from use, you know, sitting on stuff, ripping it. None of that stuff happens. It's going to take quite a bit to actually damage these pants. They hold up, they're stretchy, and I think the design's pretty sweet. We got a nice look to this. Really excited about this gear. Really excited. All righty. Now we got the Charge Atop Boots. Um, 
I've been running these for a few years. They hold up. What I like about them is the lace system, and we'll kind of show you that here real quick. First glance, nice and tough. We got a tough nose to these to the to the front of these shoes, these boots. Um, again, dragon racing around the pits. They hold up. We got a good tread to these. A lot of guys were walking around on ice all day. They'll be running woody picks in these things, trying to do that. I've never had to. I don't have any traction issues. Uh, they, they definitely get you around. They're comfortable, they're warm. Um, there's a three layer blend of these. Uh, my feet never get cold, never get wet. Uh, but what I really like is the atop BOA system. So when we're racing, when we're trail riding, whatever, being able to lace these up quick and fast is nice. So it's as simple as turning it to tighten it, and then you just break it loose by turning it left. Now we're nice and loose. Same thing again here, you just tighten them right up. And we're good to go. There's no messing around with laces. There's none of that kind of stuff. Anyways, we're days from racing. Uh, we're gonna be headed up to Manitoba here in just a few short days. We got about an 11 hour drive up. Gonna stay in Airbnb. We got practice on Friday. Uh, we're running under the lights on Saturday, which is gonna be sweet. They've got a ton of new lights up this year. Um, we're gonna be doing some video vlogs, so watch out for those on the channel here. Uh, first year doing them, but we're kind of excited to show you guys a little bit more behind the scenes of the race day. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this gear, you know, mention it in the comments. I'll try to answer there. I'll answer them in the future vlogs. I'll do what I can. Um, let me know if there's some stuff you'd like to see this year. We'll be doing some just racing videos, uh, you know, hole shots, things of that nature. Um, other than that, you know, like, subscribe, that whole spiel. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do our best to bring you guys some new content this year. Uh, as we chase the cup points, uh, we're going to be doing the full season. So should be a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. Bye.